Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about stock buy and sell problem. So, our explanation is completely based on the assumption that you are having a basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please watch our website learningmonkey.in and take the course placement training for service based companies. You have to first finish that course, then come for the competitive coding. Now, coming to the today's example, stock buy and sell problem. The cost of stock on each day is given in an array of size n. Find all the segment of days in which you buy and sell the stock so that in between those days your profit is maximum. See, they are going to give you the stock of each day, the cost of stock on each day. Every day stock price they are going to provide you. So we need to buy and sell the stock. So buy and sell the stock so that in between those days your profit is maximum. You need to find all the all the segments. Anyhow, this is not the way to understand. With example, we are going to understand it better. So from this example, given n is equal to 7, means 7 days cost, cost of the stock is provided. On the first day it is 100, the cost of the stock is 100. On the second day it is 180, third day it is 260, fourth day it is 310, 40, 535, 695. These are the price of the stock. From this we need to find all the segments, don't forget this, all the segments that are going to give you the maximum profit. So all the segments means let's try to understand. 100 when you buy the stock on this day. Next day it is 180, next day it is 260, next day it is 310, next day it is 40. That's why we are going to sell the stock here. This is a segment where it is going, we are going to get the maximum profit. So 100, you sell it here, you buy it here and you sell it at 310. What's the profit you got? 310 minus 100, you got 210. That is the profit value. So what's the index value? Zero eighth index and we are going to sell it on third index. Again, this is one segment. Another segment is also possible. So the next segment, you can buy it on this day, 40. Then you can sell it on this day or in on this day, 695, which is having maximum. 695 is having maximum. That's why. So you buy it on 40 and sell it on 695. This is another segment, 695 minus 40. What's the profit you got? 655, 210 plus 655, which is 865. This is the maximum profit you got from this. This is what you want to display. You have to display 865. This is the value. So you have to identify all the segments, all the segments. So zero index, third index, zero index, you are going to buy on third index, you are going to sell. Again, you are going to buy on fourth index value in index positions. We are showing it fourth index and you are going to sell it on sixth. The point you have to understand here, you can buy it on zero at the day and you can sell it on 180 this day also. But we need maximum profit. We need to identify segments that are going to give you the maximum profit. If you sell because the next day is again, it is high. So don't sell it again. It is high. Don't sell it low. That's why sell it here. You are going to get the maximum segment profit that is going to provide the, ma the maximum segment that is going to provide the maximum profit. This is what you have to identify. One more example for better and, and one more uh, uh, condition. Sell the stock before you buy new stock. Here we are selling the stock. Then we are going to buy the new stock. This condition you have to follow. Sell the stock before you buy the new one. Let's take the next example. 42222. If you buy it on the first day, second day it is less. So you are going to lose the value less less equal to equal to you are not going to get the profit so the algorithm has to display the output no profit with the third example we are going to understand the logic we are not explaining the step by step of the coding we will provide you the logic based on the logic you try to solve it on your own then check for the solution the coding is available in our website learningmonkey.in you can visit our website and check the coding part you can download the coding part you copy the coding part and you can execute but our suggestion is try to solve it on your own by listening this logic then you check for the coding part 
See, let's take this example. 7, 6, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4. So, if you want to buy the stock on this day, see, the next day, it is less. So, don't buy on this day. Next day, it is less. So, don't buy on this day. Next day, it is less. Don't buy on this day. Next day, it is more. So, buy on this day. So, what's the logic here? We are going to identify the minimum value. Once we identify the minimum value, the next day it is much. Now you have to identify the maximum value. So next day it is much. Next day it is much. Next day it is less. So this is the maximum value you are going to get. So buy on this day 1 and sell on this day 5. 5 minus 1. What's the value? What's the profit you are going to get? 4. So find the minimum value. Then find the maximum value. Those are the values we needed. Find the minimum value. We need a loop. We are going to, we need a loop. See, the logic goes like loop to find the minimum value. Then loop to find the maximum value. One segment identified. Repeat this process till the end of the list to find the next segment. So loop till the end. Again, find the minimum, find the maximum. Find the minimum, find the maximum. That is what you need to identify. This is what the logic is. So here in this 1, 5, 5 minus 1, 4. Next, you are going to buy it on here, means 3 value. Next, sell it. 6 minus 3, 3. So 4 plus 3, what is the total value? 7. So next, there is nothing to sell. Buy and sell. So this is what you have to display. Now coming to, we are going to show you the, so we explained the logic. So now we are going to show you the code. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.